I know, I know, I shouldn't be working, but Navid's cooked up a storm. I sent him home early. No point in paying wages if I can finish the job off myself. If I'd rather be busy. Stop me from dwelling on what might have been. Um, quick question. Why has some random woman just turned up at streetcar saying that she's my mum? Yeah, yeah, she was dead on edge and really upset. She sounds a bit mad. Did you catch her name? Yeah, Elaine. Almost an anagram of the word evil. Do you know who she is? Your mother, as you well know, was called Tess. And she has been passed over for quite some time, as you well know. Now, they say the good die young, and that might be true, because she was no spring chicken when she popped her clogs. I uh, hate to speak ill of the dead, but she was a piece of work. Yeah, but... However, some days I wish she wasn't dead and we were still together, despite her inherent laziness, rudeness and dipsomaniac tendencies, <laughs> because then this wouldn't be happening. Yeah, well, my head's mashed. I just want to know the truth. You know what this is, don't you? What? I've worked it out. They've put her up to it. Alia and Yasmin, they've paid. This random woman to come here spouting lies to try and mess with your head and make me seem like the bad guys, if that were possible. Yes, you see, thank you. That's what I said. Because you remember. It was you and me when you were growing up. I was the one who dried your eyes when you cried, wiped the snot when you sneezed. Because Tess was lazy. And then Tess wasn't there. I did my best. I did my best, Tim. I... I'm sorry if that wasn't good enough, but I really did try. <laughs>